My name is Professor Harsh Chadda. Today I want to speak on something which I will call bite the bullet. Yesterday in Dubai where I live a movie released. Its original title was Fast and Furious 7. But they changed it to Furious 7. they did not want to promote the word fast in my view that's a very good thing but as it was a sequel of six earlier movies they still had the courage to do that and they owed that to one of the principal stars who died in the movie even though this movie is about speed it got me thinking what is really speed and why do people get fascinated by speed human beings have always thrive to travel fast and reach the destination fast when i was in japan my father told me to visit and definitely travel on the bullet train i did that and the bullet train almost touched the speed of 600 km an hour it was very fascinating to travel such long distances in such short times we have a sandstorm in dubai today and i'm drinking while i'm speaking to you I'm drinking my water I was fascinated in technology and then I got a chance to travel in the Concord transatlantic not once not twice but three times what made the Concord succeed and what made it disappear the Concord was a cooperation of technology between the british and the french they had 20000 people working on this project but they had one main problem that was language every french man had to learn english and every english man had to learn french I now understand when the Arab forces in Dubai in UAE or in anywhere in in this part of the world want a pan Arab forces the greatest advantage is that they have one unified language which is Arabic when they're dealing with multinational forces they have to speak so many different languages to communicate so coming back to my concord they started the british government allocated 50 billion dollars to this project and by the time it rolled out the first concord they spent 150 billion dollars how could they recover 100 billion dollars they had a order of 73 concords between the french and the british from various airlines to travel all across the globe they even took the concord all around the world to show to the world that how simple it is in terms of speed but soon they realized that when it came to economics and profitability from a company standpoint of view there was nothing better than the return per seat it's that time that boeing came with its new aircraft which was an instant success it was the boeing 747 
that began the end of concord because the boeing 747 was a wide body plane but it carried many more passengers and it had a lot of more space for cargo also it was in a position to give you a lower rate of per seat earnings so whether it is speed or whether it is technology or whether it is the thrill of going fast in life the most important thing is that if you are doing it for a business you have to see the profit and speed doesn't create profit it never creates profit whether it's a sputnik whether it's a nasa whether it's anything speed costs much more so in my view profit is the main business even though the concorde travels at three times the speed of sound or two and a half times the speed of sound you can't bite the bullet because before you try to bite it it's already gone thank you